Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how to solve equations involving exponential notation. So, in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, Exponential Equations. Solving exponential equations is extremely easy. The only skill that you really need to be good at is knowing some of your common uh, bases, such as 2 exponent 2 gives 4, 2 exponent 3 gives 8, 3 exponent 2 gives 9, and so on. So knowledge of some of the most common bases will be essential in solving exponential equations. Let's begin by taking a look at a very quick example, perhaps one of the easiest that you'll ever encounter. Solve for x in the equation 3 exponent x plus 5 should be equal to 3 exponent 2. Well, logically, if the bases are already identical, in this case they are both 3, then all you really need to worry about is making sure that the exponents are identical. So in essence, all you really need to worry about is making sure that the exponent x plus 5 is identical to the exponent on the right side, which is 2. And that leads you to be able to solve the value of x extremely easily. In this example, x is equal to negative 3. At this stage, you can always feel free to perform a little self-check. Take that value of x that you just found, plug it back in, and see if the expression works. So for our expression, we get that exponent is negative 3 plus 5, is it actually equal to 3 exponent 2? So on the left side, we have 3 exponent 2, which is in fact the same as the right side, 3 exponent 2. Now, if only all examples can be that easy. Unfortunately, more often you'll get the case that looks like the following. Solve for x in the expression 3 exponent x plus 5 equals to 27. You should be able to detect the problem in this example right away. The problem is that the two bases are now different. On the left side, we have a base of 3, and on the right side, we have a base of 27. And this is where your skill set of being able to know your very common bases, such as 2 squared, 2 exponent 3, 3 squared, 3 exponent 3, so on and so on, comes in very handy. You are free to manipulate the 27 to try and make it into the same base as on the other side of the equal sign. In this case, if you have pretty good knowledge of your bases, you'll find that the exponent x plus 5 equals 2, and instead of writing 27, you can convert 27 into 3 exponent 3. And suddenly, we have the same bases on the left and on the right side of the equal sign. And once your bases are identical, all you really need to worry about is making sure that the exponents are identical, meaning that x plus 5 should equal to the exponent on the right side, 3. And in this case, it gives us an x value of negative 2. Why don't you try one of these types of examples on your own? So the next example is the following. Solve for x in the expression 5 exponent 2x plus 1 equal to 25. Pause the video and try it now. All right, let's see how you guys did. So you have to be familiar with the bases of 5. In this case, I get on the left side 5 exponent 2x plus 1. But on the right side, the 25 can be rewritten in the same base as on the left side, if I wrote it as 5 squared. Now, both the bases are identical, so all I really need to worry about is making sure that the exponents are also identical. So the left exponent should equal to the right exponent. Solving for x, this gives me 2x is equal to 1, therefore x is equal to a half. In our next example, We'll try something that's a little bit more complicated by tossing in some more items in there. Our next example, I'd like to find x in the following expression. 2 multiplied by 3 exponent x plus 5 
subtract 18 equal to 0. You can see that I threw in a few more objects here, the 2 and the negative 18. Well, what you need to do first is isolate the actual base attached to the exponent, in this case, the 3. This means that we have to toss the negative 18 and the 2 to the other side of the equal sign. So using your regular algebra skills, we get that 2 multiplied by 3 exponent x plus 5 is equal to 18. Continuing with your regular algebra, we get that 3 exponent x plus 5 is equal to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. Once you have the base attached to the exponent isolated, then you can proceed as before, making sure that both sides contain the same base. So, using the knowledge of the most common bases, we get that 3 exponent x plus 5 equals 2, and 9 can be rewritten as 3 exponent 2. Now that the two bases are identical, all we need to worry about is making sure that the exponent on the left is also identical to the exponent on the right. And for this example, it gives us an x value of negative 3. For the next example, why don't you try it on your own? So, I'd like you to solve for x in the following expression. 3 multiplied by 4 exponent 2x minus 1 subtract 2 equal to 46. Go ahead, pause the video, and try it now. Alright, let's see how you guys did. First things first, I have to isolate my um, base that is connected to the exponent. So, relying on your regular algebra, I get that 3 multiplied by 4 exponent 2x minus 1 is equal to 46 plus 2, which is 48. Continuing with your regular algebra, you get that 4 exponent 2x minus 1 is equal to 48 divided by 3, which is 16. Now that the base attached to the exponent is isolated, we can convert the right side so that it has the same base as the left side. In this case, that will give me 4 exponent 2x minus 1 will equal to, and 16 can be rewritten as 4 squared. Now that the bases are identical, all I have to worry about is making sure that the exponents are identical. So that gives me 2x minus 1 has to be identical to 2. Continuing with regular algebra, we get 2x is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3 over 2. Our next example, let's add yet another level of difficulty. In this example, I'd like to find x in the expression 4 exponent 2x plus 1 has to equal to 8 exponent negative x plus 5. You can see the added complication. We have x located on both exponents on both sides. In addition, we have that 4 and 8 also need to be brought to a common base. Let's begin by first converting the 4 and the 8 to their common base. I picked 4 and 8 purposely because most students do know that 4 and 8 come from a common base of 2. The 4 can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 2, and the exponent hasn't gone away yet, still 2x plus 1. And on the other side, the 8 can be rewritten as 2 exponent 3. And that exponent hasn't gone anywhere yet either, so I still have the negative x plus 5 hanging around. Well, now that the bases are common, we are allowed to manipulate the exponents a little bit. So, relying on your algebra skills, we expand the left exponent to the following. We get that 2 exponent 4x plus 2. On the right side, again using your regular algebra and expanding the exponent, we get 2 exponent negative 3x plus 15. This simply relies on your regular laws of exponents and your regular algebra. And now that we've cleaned it up a little bit, since the bases are the same, we can ignore them and simply make sure 
that the exponents work out to be identical. So the left exponent should equal to the right exponent. And the rest is simple algebra. Manipulating the expression, we get 7x is equal to 13. And therefore, x is equal to 13 over 7. So you see the added complication in this example. Not only did both bases on both sides needed to be changed to a common base, but we also had x found in both exponents on both sides. Why don't you try on your own one of these tough ones as our final example. Solve for x in the expression, 25 exponent 2x minus 1 has to equal to 125 exponent negative 2x minus 5. Go ahead, pause the video and try it now. All right, let's see how you guys did. So first things first, I have to change both bases so that they have a common base. Again, I picked 25 and 125 on purpose because most people should know that they come from a common base of 5. So, that being said, 25 can be rewritten as 5 to the power of 2. And the exponent hasn't gone anywhere yet, so we still have the 2x minus 1. And on the right side, 125 can be rewritten as 5 exponent 3. Again, that exponent hasn't gone anywhere yet, so we still have negative 2x minus 5. Now let's clean up just a little bit using our regular laws of exponents. So we get that the left side cleaned up becomes 5 exponent 4x minus 2. And on the right side, we get 5 exponent negative 6x minus 15. And now that the bases are identical and the exponents have been cleaned up a little bit, all we have to need, worry about is making sure the exponents are identical. So we have to make sure that 4x minus 2 is equal to the exponent on the right side, which is negative 6x minus 15. Using the regular algebra, we get that 10x should equal to negative 13. Therefore, x is equal to negative 13 over 10. That's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to solving equations that involve exponential notation.